Hi guys, so um, today what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to do braid in your hair. Um, you This is the same if you're like um, wanting to do it in a doll's hair or wanting to do it on your friend, or your mom, or your cousin, whatever, your aunt, your uncle. I don't know why I said it, but whatever. Anyone who has long enough hair. Um, so you, you guys know that I got full bangs, but I brushed them back just so I could do this video and then I'm putting them up. So what you're gonna need to do this is a brush or a comb. Oh, and my hair's wet because I just got out of the shower. Kiwi. And um my I'm using a comb because I recommend a comb and it works best on my hair. I also use this comb in the shower to comb out conditioner. Um this one is a Revlon comb. It gets skinnier as it goes into black, and it gets fatter as it goes into blue. So it says Revlon. You can get these at like in any dollar store, like little convenience store. Um, and you're also going to be needing a hair tie. Now I usually use these hair ties, like a regular hair tie, but when my hair is wet, I like to use something thin. So I'm going to be using a silly band. This is just in the um, shape of a car, nothing special, and um, when you stretch it out, it's just normal. So, um, that, that's what I'm using because it's smoother, and when you put it into your hair, you know how when your hair is wet and you put a hair tie in, it's sometimes hard to get out? Well, when you're using a silly band, the, they, it doesn't get stuck, so this isn't in good, but if it was, it would just slide right out. With no damage, no damage to the so If you pull too hard, if you if you some people if you have really thick hair or your hair is like too dry, like sometimes these get stuck when it's like halfway dry, and that's when you use a hair tie or a thicker rubber band. Um, so I just got out of the shower like two minutes ago, um, so. I'm gonna do it now with the silly band because it's thin enough for my hair because it's not even like a fourth of the way dry yet. I did towel dry it so it's not dripping. Sorry about that. But it's not soaked. Um, it's not dry. So the first thing you do is just get your hair combed so there's no knots in it at all. I'll show you guys what it looks like in the back. So I'm just working on, as you guys can see. So that's what that looks like. And now, make sure you get the corner. So it's like a straight side, and then you have like a corner, and you definitely want to comb that out because that's usually where the pinpoint of the braid is. Like that's where the braid, um, if you're doing a ponytail, that's where the braid starts and if there's a knot it looks jumbled up here and it looks like you have like these two little things up here and it looks really bad on me anyway and a lot of people ask me when my hair is dry did you dye your hair because it's dark in the winter and then I, I get it then I get light hair in the summer no I do not dye my hair. It's just natural. Um, the next video after this video is going to be how to do these two little buns up in the top of your hair. Um, I'm going to make that today too since my hair's wet and it's going to work out perfectly. So my hair has like no knots in it at all. I'm just going to check out. I just comb my head. <laughs> I hate when that happens. Yeah, so my hair is like perfect and you can tell I have, it's wet um, but there's no conditioner or soaps left on it. You just go like this and then rub your hands together. If you get the look of soap on it, you have soap left on and then you might want to step back in the shower to get that out. But I'm perfect right now. So, the first thing that you want to do is take a chunk of your hair and I'm going to be doing this piece right in the front. I'm going to be doing it thick. 
but not thick, too thick for you guys. Um, do that a little bit. So then there's, then we have a chunk. And here's my chunk. So then what I do is I take two fingers and stick them through. So you have, and then hold it like this. So you have three, one, two, three parts. And then you take two fingers and then grab these two with those, these two pieces with those two fingers and then right in a couple th minutes when we do your hair. Okay. And then this piece with that. So then, actually no, you're going to take these two pieces. And then what you do is you take your two fingers and just twist your hand. Then you grab this finger and twist. And then you keep doing that. And I like to start my braid down really low. And as you can tell, I'm starting to get a braid. And I took a short piece of hair, so that's just all the braid I got. I'll do it one more time because that braid just twisted out. Um, and then after, I'm going to make the video of the buns. Because it's so cute and it's a great way to do your hair if you're in a play or if you're just doing something fun with your friends. Like my friend had to do it and that's how I learned how to do it because she was in the Wizard of Oz play and she was a munchkin. So Here is my hair and there's my braid and I think my braid looks so cute. So then what you do is you take your... You take your... Um, hair tie or whatever you're using um, and you're wrapping it around till it's tight because if you don't like it's not like a ponytail like it can come out and actually look loose and look messy a, a ponytail can look loose and look messy but a braid actually has that design to it a ponytail doesn't have a design to it so it's um, very very different from a ponytail. So you just pretty much tighten it till you can't tighten it anymore. And then I think after this, this will be my last time. Just pull all your hair out and then just pull a little tiny bit. So then you have that and it's it's gonna put this like it's okay if I just do this for a second and just wrap it around once or twice. So you guys, I know this looks stupid, but I'm just putting this up so you guys can see this side. Um, then there's your braid, and I think it looks so nice. And obviously you'd use a better color hair tie or something, uh, but this is just an example. Like, um, I get hair ties that are the color of my hair. So yeah. So, like if you like this video, subscribe, comment. And if you want to do a video of anything, I'll watch any videos. Um, put it down below as a video response because I'd love to watch it. Um, peace. Love. Um, so, yeah, there it is. And my braid is done. And now my hair is just back to normal. So now what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to make another video. Showing you how to do two buns. Bye.